These are fruits. These are vegetables. Two different categories. Except for this one. Now, there's an ongoing battle for which category this one belongs to. For me, this one right here is a vegetable, no matter what you say. I'm entitled to my own opinion, right? But am I entitled to my own facts? Let's leave that for next time. Now, so one of the things I hate the most is when people play ska, soca and reggae and sometimes dancehall in the same category. I mean, there's a reason why they have names. Ska, soca, reggae and dancehall. Even the Grammys. Sometimes a dancehall song, you know, will get nominated but they place it under reggae. They are much different. Same country but different genres. Well, Soka belongs to Trinidad, so let me make that clear. Anyways, I'm here to clear that up. I'm going to help you guys to identify the different guitar strum patterns so you know what genre you're actually listening to. Let's jump to the guitar. Now, I'm not going to sit here and act as if I know the full history on Scat, because people are still doing their studies, right? But what I know is it was created in the 60s by a Jamaican for Jamaica. I also know that it is a very danceable music and it was, you know, it piggyback off jazz music because back in the days, Jamaicans used to listen to the rhythm and blues type of stuff, the, um, the jazz type of stuff. So if you really listen to the early scat, you will hear that walking bass line. So I'm going to demonstrate some, you know, I'm going to give you guys some basic strum patterns, some basic guitar strum patterns so you can identify. Now remember, this tutorial is not about how to farm the chords, you know, or teach you how to play. You know, I'm, I'm just helping you guys identify it. Now if you guys want to learn, just leave it down there in the comment section, whatever you want to learn and let me know. Alright, so we're working with C major, E minor. minor to F major or you can put it right here so it's gonna be a and here is strum pattern number one I'm on the upstroke and not the down. Listen to the walk in this. Sounds jazzy, right? That's right. Very danceable. I do not know much about the history of soca music. I do not know who created it and when it was created. But just like um, scare music, there are a lot of people who are claiming that. You know, but um, listen to what this brother has to say. I am the inventor and nobody else. The simple as that. Let's look at it this way. When soca was first invented, there was no name. But there was a vibration that they now call Chutney Soca. Okay? Um, In Drani? Yes. All right. This this is where the soca whole thing began. I combined two rhythms, calypso and um, East Indian music together. I had no name, 
But what came out of that is what you now call Chutney Soka today. Okay? Um, in, in the following year, I did a complete album, um, The Love Man, and all my tracks had the same rhythm, the East Indian and the African thing together. And the Africans complained that I was spoiling Calypso's. The Indian complained that I was desecrating the music. So what I did was simply take the, 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 the feeling that you got from the, the, the two rhythmic structures and put them on traditional instruments. I took out the East Indian drum. I took out the, 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 um, the, the, the dantal. I took out the, the, the mandolin. And I put it on the, the drum set, the triangle, and the, and the guitar. So what you had was the same thing but without these Indian with, um, mu musical instruments. And now I name it S-O-K-A-H. The K-A-H was to reflect the East Indian influence into the music because Ka is the first letter in the Sanskrit alphabet. It, it represents movement and Soka is the power of movement. That's all. Just like Skia music, Soka is on the upstroke, just a bit more rhythmic, you know, on the guitar. So check this out. Okay, so now reggae is different. So instead of playing on the up, reggae is on the down. So it's more of a one, two, three, four. You know what I mean? It's on the down, which is what upsets me, you know, when I see people playing reggae on the. Now that's more of a scare or a soaker type of, you know, stuff. Also, you're gonna listen for the stock lines. And even if you're playing a one strike or a. A checky or a double skank, whatever they call it, it remains the same. It's on the down. All right. So here's first example of reggae, the one strike. <laughs> Here is example number three, and you only find this in reggae music. 
you know, this one follows a bass. This one is a stock line. A stock line is a guitar line that accompanies the bass. You'll find this in only reggae music when it comes to the Caribbean music. All right, so check this. are some of the little basic stuff you listen out for when you're trying to figure out which genre you're actually listening to or you're about to practice. Now like I said while I was demonstrating, I do not know much about the history of ska music nor do I know much about soca music history. So if you guys know some stuff, put it down there in the comment section, it would be greatly appreciated. And if there's anything that I left out, put it down there in the comment section, I mean I'm not perfect. If this tutorial was helpful, let me know, drop your request. Do not forget to like, comment, share. Most importantly, do not forget to subscribe. My name is Zan. Blessed love. Peace out. See you next time.